Holy Family's emergency room is back open tonight. It was shut down for a couple of hours because of a possible unknown chemical substance. KXLY 4's Kylie Cruz is live at the hospital. And Kylie, people who were possibly exposed to this chemical were told to go home and shower. That's right, Clay. They were told well to go home, shower, put on some clean clothes. But this news, well, it was a little hard for one man to hear. His wife just had a baby here yesterday, so obviously the last thing he wants to do is leave his little newborn at the hospital. This is, this is something you just don't expect. The scene earlier today at Holy Family Hospital was one John Levesque never could have imagined. My wife had just had a baby uh, yesterday, uh, 36 hours of labor. It's been a long long couple of days for us. Little Kalel came into the world yesterday and just a day later all of this unfolded. You come out of the elevator and I immediately had a cough. And John wasn't alone. We ended up with about six persons that were exposed and experienced those symptoms. We had another uh, three or four persons, actually about five persons that were in the area but didn't have any symptoms that we kept an eye on. Then they got instructions. They said before I could do that I had to go home, uh, shower, change my clothes, basically be decontaminated before I can come up and see my, my two-day-old son. The ER shut down just after 515 after someone reported a chemical substance dispersed in the entryway. But fire officials don't know what it was or what exactly happened. So we don't know at this point in time whether somebody actually dispersed something, whether it was picked up by the HVAC system and came in from that means. Well, it was hard for John to be separated. Yeah, I just want to see my beautiful wife and our, and our wonderful dog, uh, our wonderful baby. He knows it was probably the right thing to do. I, I desperately want to see my baby boy, but I also don't want to contaminate him or my wife with anything. Once he showered, though, he was ready to give the newest addition of his family lots of loving. I'm going to give her a big hug and kiss and I'm going to give him a little hug and a little kiss because he's a little guy and and just check on them. I mean, it's, been, it's been too long since I've been apart from them. <laughs> Fire officials say as of now they have no visual confirmation of a chemical substance. Now as for John, well he's hoping to take his little boy home from the hospital tomorrow. Reporting live here in North Spokane, I'm Kylie Cruz, KXLY4 HD News.